Hello there, I'm Alger Hill and welcome back to Stellaris. The Perrington Empire is, uh, it's doing okay. It could be doing a lot better, honestly. We could be, we definitely could be improving. So I was having some thoughts about what we could do with our potential situation over here. And I realized that the problem is because we're playing on insane, everyone's tech is insanely higher than ours. So this is going to prove to be a serious issue. So if we could somehow manage to arrange some kind of alliance. For example, I might try and get an alliance with these chaps over here. So if we establish an embassy, we might get some interesting things over here. So this could work. This could work. Right? And if we offer a trade deal, would you think if they accepted a research agreement? No, they will not. Because we have very... They have so many techs. My god. Look at that. Wow. That's insane. So we need to get them to be a higher relation with us. And if we can ally them and also get a research agreement, we can be in really good stead. Because otherwise, we are going to seriously start to suffer. So we've actually got three embassies going on right now. Will they give me a research agreement? They, they still will not give me a research agreement. <sighs> that would suck so much. They just don't want to give it to me, do they? Wow. Oh, wow. These guys do not want to give that to me. So, I mean, the only... I'm concerned. I don't think this empire will attack us because we do have the embassy with them. And they are relatively chill. Uh, and I'm not touching them. So, my thinking is that they'll attack from the north over here. And they'll attack into Gol and Nikor. And if they do that, what that means is we could try and defend with our stations, couldn't we? Because we do have these lovely defense platforms. We have the interceptor and the bombardment. And the bombardment looks pretty good to me. You know, I think it looks perfect. So why don't we start la like layering these a little bit? So if we have our fleet um, in Gaul, like properly stationed within that system always we can actually do some really interesting things for starters what we could do is we could start building another uh, defense outpost right here so if we build another interceptor right there the interceptor will drag everyone to that area and it means that the attack approach from the north is completely covered the approach from the south not so much but that's okay it's okay What else can we build that we could give us? Because we really need some power, don't we? We are dying for power. Wow, we are really dying for power. Uh, so we definitely need to be improving our surface structures and seeing if we can get some more power. And we also really need some research. Like yesterday, honestly. Oh, I just realized this should be swapped around. Um, perfect. That helps. I'm losing eight from the colony, but that's okay. Yeah, we need some more stuff. We need some more stuff. Like, more tech. Engineering tech, especially. Whew. Not having that is a problem. Uh, hmm, blue shard thrower. Do we want blue shard thrower? da 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 da, -da. Blah, blah, blah. Similar wavelength. Not very good. They have good armor stuff, but that's a bit crap. Now we'll stick to research alternatives. Cool. And then we should immediately get a lot of power back. Great. Okay, so we now have a new colony. Excellent, excellent. Okay, and it's 85% habitability. That's amazing. Look at this planet. Oh my goodness. It is excellent. Right. So straight away, what I would like to get started on is that. I would like to be building food and be building lots of food there. And honestly, there are a lot of minerals, but I think this should be a science place because there are so many really good science things here. And straight away, I'm going to build a spaceport. And because our weaponry is very much based around the concept of rail guns, which are very short range but have high damage, what I'm thinking of is that we need just basically need our fleets to 
defend around defense stations. And that's essentially all they do. They just sit there in defense stations and defend, you know? So where do we put this? We just put this in the Kelsim system. Awesome. We unfortunately do still need the frontier post because otherwise it will blot out a large area. But that's all right. And in the Kelsim system, there is actually some really good power as well. So if we do that, they'll also be able to research station there. We get some really good tech. I would love some power, but unfortunately it doesn't look likely. So we are actually going to get, because they are Xenophiliacs, these, are, these guys are actually going to get to uh, over 100 for us if, eventually. Awesome. This is really good for us. Okay, so is there any... Let's, we got to start min-max min with this a little bit. What could we do in terms of governors? Because this is going to be our tech one. We got a leader experience, food and hydroponics. What else could we get? We could get uh, ship, build, ship build speed, ship cost, and spaceport module. There we go. Engine intellectual output. That's what you want. Okay, we're going to get that big boy. Then we're going to look at the Pendor, because Pendor, right now, we got to try and mid-max this a little bit. They make a lot of energy. These guys have construction time. We don't need construction time and clear blocker time and happiness. We don't need that in the slightest. What we need is... I guess really what we need is science. So let's give him this. So it doesn't actually change that necessarily. It might get carried. I think it does get carried over though, because 18.4 is being produced. So that does start carrying over. This one is the... He's giving food and clear, clear uh, blockers, blockers. So if we give him this one, who is recruitment cost. What? Let's give him this one, which is food. So this one should now give food, which is excellent, because extra food is amazing for a fledgling growing society. And then we need to assign a new governor here. And that's just leader recruitment cost, which is a bit lame, but that's okay. Still extra happiness, extra construction, time reduction. This is okay. I'd love it if we could do something of our scientists. Unfortunately, we don't have the actual tech to assist research, do we? That's a shame. We're building some more fly swatters. And we're, I think the whole purpose of our fleet is basically we need to try and catch them and fight in long in short range. That's basically what we need to do. We need to catch them and fight them in short range, otherwise we lose. So the destroyers are pretty good because they have some nice rail guns and they got our little point defense, which is great. Hmm. But the the Cavalier Corvettes. Who are kinda of the big guys. Oh I just realized they haven't upgraded those weaponries. Why haven't we not upgraded these things yet? Oh, for God's sake. Our Cavalier Corvettes, who are our main... Our big boys. These guys need some more work. Fly Sweater's got loads of point defense. Great, 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 great. Why don't we have barrier point defense? And these could just be more... Better energy. What the hell's wrong with this? Our evasion is still only 20%, which is very sad. We need to get our evasion up. Heavily. Like, heavily. In fact, you know what? I think I might change it to Defensive Combat Computer to just increase their invasion. Because we need evasion. That's what we need. That's what's going to allow us to survive in this game. And without it, I don't know what we're going to do. Good stuff. So we're just giving everything invasion. evasion. Oh, but I do... No, they need the evasion. They do. They just need it. Otherwise, they're going to die. And if they start dying, then I don't know what we're going to do. I'll turn those up as well. And that should be barrier point defense as well, just in case to shoot down their missiles. Just in case they decide that they would need to use missiles against us. And then we'll upgrade for a shit ton of, of thingy. Oh dear. That's going to take ages. It's alright. Uh. Still can't build mining stations there. If we could build mining stations, if we could get this planet in, 
I'd be so happy. Ugh. I have to wait for border growth. Damn, damn, damn. Is there anything better than the rail guns that we have right now? Oh my god, I just realized there's plasma thrusters we could be building. What the hell are we doing? We need plasma thrusters. Chance to evade. That's what you want. Because we definitely want to increase our evasion. That's all we really want. Entirely. And we just want to keep an eye on these guys' relation. Is there anything they want? Alright, we got increased naval capacity. So we could also... We, oh, border range! Yes. Thank God. Border range is going to allow us access to these planets and thus give us a gigantic boost in terms of our mineral and energy output. That's going to be really helpful if we can do that. And I just realized that we are observing this planet for shit tons of gain, aren't we? They're, they're in the steam age though, aren't they? Fuck. And they are fanatic xenophobes, militarists. And fanatic spiritualists. Hmm. Oh, con new people. Okay, where are they? The Alliance of Emothian Sons. No idea where they are. What? Oh, that's really helpful. Great. Yeah, so useful. So, I mean, the problem is we do really need to watch this because they're anthropoids and they like continental, which is cool. So they're pretty close to us. Thrifty, repugnant, continental preference. I don't. I don't think I really want to uplift them, to be honest. You know. If you start to uplift them, aren't they just going to take over that entire area? As my vassal, I don't think I really want to do that. I could just invade them and enslave the crap out of them. That could be fun. Unrestrictive native studies. Yeah, why don't we have that? We should have unrestrictive native studies. What are we doing? Order bombardment. We, we really need to to hit this up a little bit, don't we? Slave procreation, not allowed. Jesus. Slavery allowed. Static war economy. To be honest, I think we might need to put into dynamic war economy because obviously we're not going to be in any kind of offensive wars for a long time. Hmm. Yeah, I think maybe going into a semi-static war policy is going to be a very good idea. Yeah, that's going to really help us. Uh, native interference, unrestricted. Native enlightenment, al Oh, no. What? What? Why can't I select this? Native enlightenment al al does not have the fanatic xenophobe ethic. Oh, uh, because I can't enlighten them. Because, ah, oh, lame. I can't enlighten them because they're freaking... Because I have a xenophobic, so I can't enlighten people because I don't love them. That's sad. Elitism. I need to, I need to have checked this a while ago. Ooh, the Grand Fleet would be nice. That costs so much to maintain, though. Right. Could I just invade them, then? And just conquer the planet. Wouldn't that work as well? There's quite a lot of nice things on here. What would happen if I did that? Hmm. I do just I really do just want the uh, the stuff. Oh, so I can do this, I can do covert infiltration. And replace the world leaders for annexation by me. They just need to be in the industrial age because they're only in the steam age. That's fine. That's fine. All right, ships are upgraded. The destroyers, the corvettes, and the fly swatters. We'll move the rest of the fly swatters over there. Nice. Right. We should be continuing to build up our fleet so as to deter bad men coming this way. I guess we should build a corvette assembly yard. And then just start, you know. 
and just build a shit ton of corvettes basically that's kind of what we need to do just endlessly build corvettes and see what happens because I'm really hoping the way we we're going to need to try and cheese it and beat them by just corvettes and using point defense to fight their missiles and basically mainly just hoping that the evasion beats out wow they are overwhelming aren't they Parented Force 1. To be honest, we really need a new gen a new dude. Evasion 10%, sensor range. Nah. It's fine. He'll be, he'll be there as he is for now. And again, we're kind of running out of power. Why are we running out of power so much? Damn, damn, damn. Alright, um... What can we build? Right, look at that. We can build hydroponics farm. Nice. Excellente. That should definitely be there. Yes, that's fine. We need to be really micro with what we do, guys. Like, super micro. Oh, these guys are actually at a food deficit. Shit. Problem is, these are all energy. Ah. There we go. And we'll start making a new one. Good stuff. That is a big deficit, though. Okay, that's fine. That'll catch up to itself eventually. And over here, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Food. They are not starving, so that's good. There's food there. Minerals, energy. Ah. We need more energy, guys. Come on. I guess we could build a science lab there. That would help. And then, I guess, a hydroponics farm. And on Pendor... What do we got? We got the Virtual Combat Arena, which to be honest gives us army damage bonus, but it's kind of crap because of the maintenance it costs. No, we don't really want that to be honest. I just need power. We got Science Labs up the wazoo. So that's good. And we got our military academies to building loads of armies and stuff. I'm worried we may have spent too much. This is mainly our energy planet, isn't it? We need to start specializing our planets better. Alright. We're doing okay, I think. More and more fleets are being built. More and more ships. Oh my god, they have a domineering idea. Shit. If they make us into a vassal, we will lose the game. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. Are they about to become allies? Like chill home slices? Here we go. That's what I want to see. I cannot get these guys into it. These guys are cautious of me. Which is very interesting. Right. So they will never... God damn it. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. there it is. Okay, there's the alliance. Why did that not pause? Oh, God. This is terrible for us. Okay, so they finally did declare war. Really not what I wanted. And they want to make us a protectorate. And to liberate three of our planets. Oh, wow. Okay. Well. We gotta deal with that. So we will have to wait and see what happens now. Because we do not know what's going to happen. So we're going to find this out in the next... Oh, we can set our demands. That's really interesting. So we'll do that in the next one, and we will set our demands as to what we want the war to be. And we'll see if we can catch their fleets off guard. And if we can, we can probably make some interesting gains. The main thing is we need to move our defeats immediately upon attack. Wow, that's so much power. Okay, so we'll have to deal with that when it comes to it. I was Algernon, continue to be, and this has been Stellaris. Thank you very much for watching. God, I hope we don't lose now.